So Donald Trump is now colluding with his old criminal associate, Steve Bannon, trying to help Bannon gin up what is obviously a bogus defense to Bannon's upcoming criminal trial for contempt of Congress. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So let's talk about this charade, this ruse, this nonsense about Steve Bannon wanting to testify before the January 6th committee. Here's the new reporting from CNN. Steve Bannon says he's willing to testify before January 6th committee after Trump waives claims of executive privilege. And that article begins, Steve Bannon, who defied a congressional subpoena and is set to go to trial on criminal contempt charges, told the House Select Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 insurrection on Saturday that he is now willing to testify, ideally at a public hearing, according to a letter obtained by CNN. And friends, Donald Trump wrote a letter of his own telling Steve Bannon that he might be willing to waive executive privilege to enable Bannon to testify to the January 6th committee. And this letter is a beauty. I've got to read it to you. Dear Steve, I write about the subpoena that you received in September 2021 from the illegally constituted unselect committee the same group of people who created the Russia, Russia, Russia scam, impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, the Mueller witch hunt, with ended in no collusion, and other fake and never-ending yarns and tales. When you first received the subpoena to testify and provide documents, I invoked executive privilege. However, I watched how unfairly you and others have been treated having to spend vast amounts of money on legal fees, and all of the trauma you must be going through for the love of your country and out of respect for the office of the president. Therefore, if you reach an agreement on a time and place for your testimony, I will waive executive privilege for you, which allows for you to go in and testify truthfully and fairly as per the request of the unselect committee of political thugs and hacks who have allowed no due process, no cross-examination, and no real Republican members or witnesses to be present or interviewed. It is a partisan kangaroo court. Why should these evil, sinister, and unpatriotic people be allowed to hurt and destroy the lives of so many and cause such great harm to our country? It has been, from the time I came down the escalator at Trump Tower, a political hit job against the overwhelming majority of Americans who support the concept and policy of making America great again and putting America first. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Sincerely, Donald J. Trump. Friends, what's really going on here? Well, this is Donald Trump and Steve Bannon colluding to try to gin up what is obviously a bogus defense that Bannon hopes to use at his upcoming criminal trial for contempt of Congress. Here's how they're hoping this will play out. Bannon will say, I couldn't comply with the earlier subpoena from Congress because Donald Trump hadn't waived executive privilege. Now, Never mind that it isn't Donald Trump's executive privilege to waive. It's the current president, Joe Biden, decision whether to invoke or waive privilege. Never mind that Steve Bannon wasn't a member of the Trump administration or a member of the government in any way on January 6, 2021. So he couldn't invoke executive privilege in any event. And never mind 
that the way you do assert executive privilege is you comply with a congressional subpoena and you answer all of the questions that don't involve any potentially privileged material, like, please state your name, executive privilege. No, Mr. Bannon, you don't have executive privilege over your name. So now what Bannon is hoping to accomplish is he's saying, oh, oh well, Donald Trump is waiving privilege now, so I'll testify now. And doesn't that really prove that I would have testified earlier? I would have complied with the subpoena earlier if Trump had waived executive privilege earlier. So come on, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you really shouldn't convict me for contempt of Congress, for defying the subpoena earlier. Yeah, this is a bogus defense. The dog won't hunt. Steve Bannon will be convicted at trial. And this is nothing more than a charade, a ruse. It's a bunch of nonsense. And let's remember who Steve Bannon is. He's the guy who promised to deconstruct his word, the federal government, the administrative state. He's the guy who stole from Donald Trump's base, claiming he was going to build the, the wall, the We Build the Wall Foundation. No, it was a grift and he stole from Trump's base. And then Donald Trump pardoned him for stealing from Donald Trump's base. Way to stick up for your supporters, sport. So no, Steve Bannon will never testify fully and truthfully before the January 6th committee. And his claim to the contrary is just a desperate attempt to come up with some kind of a defense to offer at his upcoming criminal trial. But he will go to trial, he will be convicted, and he will be sentenced to prison because there's a mandatory minimum prison term if one is convicted of contempt of Congress. And that is as it should be, because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.